Hi everyone, and welcome to the Crafty Mama podcast. My name is Dawn and I'm your host, and this is a podcast about knitting and sewing and other crafty things, as well as much yarn goodness. Um, this is episode four. I can't believe it. This is crazy, but I love it. <laughs> I love doing podcasts. I don't know if it's just because I get to babble and talk about whatever I want to talk about, <laughs> or I don't know. I don't know. I just love it. I have so much fun doing them. I wish I could do one every day, but, uh, you know, that probably won't happen. <laughs> maybe at Christmas and stuff, I'll do like the 12 days of Christmas, maybe, or um, something like that. 12 days of, I don't know. I'll think of something. Um, so like I said, my name is Dawn. Uh, you're, I'm coming from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and it is Saturday. No, it's Sunday. <laughs> uh, it's Sunday, May 21st, and I'm actually off work for four days. I know, so excited. Um, I actually booked some time off because I'm um, part-time assistant manager at uh, a dollar store and I don't very often get two or three days off in a row and I kind of really wanted three days off and then I realized that Monday is Victoria Day here in Canada so it's a holiday nothing is open so I get four days off <laughs> so excited so it's a uh, Victoria Day or otherwise known as May 2-4 weekend and this is a weekend where everybody lights up their barbecues, they go to their cottages, they go to their campgrounds, they set up their, their trailers and all that fun stuff starts up this weekend because technically it's usually the weekend that everything starts getting really nice. Not today. <laughs> Not today. It is cloudy and rainy and ugh, it's actually cold outside. Um, let me just see. It It feels like yeah it feels um one second I'm trying to find the there we go um it feels like maybe March weather it's like 11 degrees Celsius right now in Hamilton which let's see what Celsius 11 degrees is in Fahrenheit um it's like 51 cold it's not like cold cold it's actually I kind of like this weather I like between 50 and 70 Fahrenheit because that's nice little sweater weather hoodie weather you know you're not freezing but you're not hot it's just nice so this is the kind of weather I like if it wasn't raining because I get migraines and right now I've got one that's just boom 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 in my head all I want to do is lay in my bed or sit on the couch, watch movies, and knit, which I think is what I'm going to do after I'm done the podcast. <laughs> I think it sounds like a pretty good plan for me. So yeah, it's only like 51 Fahrenheit, which is 11 degrees Celsius, and that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, so that's what it is today in Hamilton, Ontario, and uh is really weird because a couple days ago it was hot it was like 27 28 which was just ridiculous um, let's see 28 degrees Celsius is like 83 so it was warm but the breeze was still cool so I don't mind I can have you know 90 degree 100 degree weather I wouldn't care if the breeze was cool it's when that breeze kicks in and it's warm and it's humid and it's sticky and it's gross. I'm inside with air on. <laughs> I don't do the outside thing. Not when it's that hot. If I can't walk from the house to like the corner without sweating, like dripping off my face, it's too hot. So this is weather I like. I just wish it wasn't raining because then it would have been a nice day. So don't mind the lighting. Um, not much light is coming through the window, so I have my stand-up light on, and hopefully that'll do okay. Anyways, let's uh, just babbled for five minutes. 
you can find me on various uh, forms of social media. Um, Instagram, I am craftymama underscore 73. And on Ravelry, I am craftymama 73. On Facebook page, my Ravelry group, and my Etsy shop, I'm Crafty Mama Designs with a Z or a Z. <laughs> um, speaking of Ravelry group, I have 17 members in there now, and I'm kind of excited because I didn't think I'd get many at all. Um, I've got members, but not many people are posting or responding or anything like that. So um, I do have a cow going on right now which is the Crafty Mama One Skein Cow. It is a one skein project. Um, you need to use like 75% of your yarn, which really isn't that hard with all the one skein shawls and uh, socks and all that kind of stuff going on. I'm sure most people can have a one skein project. Um, nobody's posted in there but me yet. So <laughs> Maybe I'll have to win my own prize and I'll just keep something for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. So if you are doing a one skein project and you want to win some prizes, head over to Crafty Mama Designs on Ravelry on the groups tab and uh, join my group because I am aching to give some stuff away and nobody's posting so I can't give anything away yet. Um, I have yarn that's coming. I have patterns I want to give away. Um, it's going to be a choose your own pattern probably four dollars maybe five dollars I haven't decided um, stuff like that I have project bags from my shop that I'm going to be giving away um, I don't know other other great, great stuff so I really want to give some stuff away so join my group and get it on that cow I also have a sock thread which is all socks all the time I might actually make an fo thread for that as well for just finished finished objects and um, I might give away more things with that thread than with just the chatter thread um, because I think actually having socks finished is probably a better accomplishment I guess you could say that could have made more stuff so maybe you'll, you'll win yarn and a pattern that would be kind of cool right I think so so if you want to join in on that, that's all year long. It's no non-stop. You post as many times as you want. You can double dip, triple dip, quadruple dip. Any of that is all good with me. It does not matter. Um, it can be shorty socks. It can be regular socks. It can be baby socks. It can be teenage socks. It can be toddler socks. As long as it's socks, it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. Um, so make sure you jump in on those cows and... Uh, yeah, because I am aching to give some stuff away. Um, speaking of giving stuff away, my Instagram, I said I was going to do a giveaway when it hit 400 followers. Now, like two days after the podcast, it hit 401. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm thinking what I'm going to do for the giveaway. And then I looked, and it's down to 400, and then I looked. A little while later and it's back down to 399 so I think I want to wait until the 400 sticks for at least three days I don't know why people do that it drives me absolutely crazy you like a page or on Facebook or on Ravelry well I guess not on Ravelry on Instagram you like the person you follow them and then all of a sudden you're unfollowing them. Why follow them in the first place? I know a lot of people follow because they think there's giveaways and they follow it just so they can get the giveaway and then they unfollow right afterwards. That sucks, but it happens. I just, I, I just want to give a bag away. I want to give one of my bags away and you're going to be able to pick what fabric you want for your bag. So I think that's a pretty good giveaway. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a few of the fabrics that I have in my fabric stash um, set aside for bags and I will post a picture of three or four fabrics and you can decide which fabric you want for your one skein project bag and I will make that up for you. So that's what the giveaway is going to be once I hit four, well, once I can stay at 400, <laughs> hopefully for more than just a couple days. And um, I'm hoping to get that going this week and draw names 
or draw a name and stuff by the end of the week is what I'm hoping. So if you want to be a chance of winning a project bag with a fabric of your choice, follow me on Instagram, craftymama underscore 73. I'm thinking of changing it to Crafty Mama Designs, but I'm not sure. I haven't decided if I wanted to do that or not. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Anyway, so, so that's all of that going on. Um, I don't have any FOs. I was hoping to have FOs, but this week kind of just like flew right by and I don't even know what happened. Like I blinked and it was gone. Gone. I mean, I was kind of happy that it came quickly because then I had my 40s off. But two of my four are already gone, and I don't want it to end. <laughs> I don't want it to end. I don't want to go back to work. I want to stay and play and talk with you guys um, and knit and knit and knit and knit. My first two days were out running around doing stuff, um, but today and tomorrow is at home doing nothing and just relaxing, so it's going to be good. Um, my daughter wants to watch Minnie the Craft which I love that movie. That's one of my favorite movies of that decade. And um, I've been wanting to get her to watch it for a while. She had no interest. And then we were going through some of the boxes that we had packed away that we haven't taken out and done. Doing a little spring cleaning kind of thing. And we came across some books that I had when I was in my 20s, I would think. I, I think the late teens, early 20s. And I had a book of palmistry, how to read palms and stuff like that, which I was so into that stuff. I was really into um, witchcraft type stuff. I never cast any spells or anything, but it was just so interesting to read about. And I have a book of spells. <laughs> I have a book of spells. I don't know. She's like, do you think these actually work? And I'm like, oh God, I wish I never gave her that book because who knows what she's going to try and cast. <laughs> And my, and then she all of a sudden, she's like, I want to watch the craft. She says that today. And I'm like, you do? You want to watch the craft? Oh my God. I've been trying to get you to watch this for years and you had no interest. And I guess now looking through the spell book and my palmistry book and stuff like that. Now she's kind of interested, interested in, um, I got hair on my face, interested in the movie. So I'm kind of excited about that. So I said, yeah. I said we can watch that and I can do some knitting and just relax and that would be good. So that's the plans for tonight. <clears throat> After, of course, I get the podcast done and edited and stuff. Um, yesterday, we went to the mall, did a little bit of stuff there, had something to eat, came home, relaxed for a few hours, and then we went out to dinner to Kelsey's. Um, this probably should all be in the chatter stuff, but... <laughs> um, we were going to go for Mother's Day dinner last weekend, but I thought it's going to be so busy, so packed. I don't know. I don't want to sit in a restaurant waiting forever. So we decided to do our Mother's Day dinner yesterday. So we went to Kelsey's. It was really good. Um, I always get the fajitas when I'm there because they're so good. So that was basically yesterday. Um, Friday, we went downtown to the local craft store. I got lots to tell you about that, but we'll do that a little bit later in uh, acquisitions because I got a few. And uh, then we went up to Lime Ridge Mall, which is our big mall. Pardon me, my nose is itchy. <laughs> our big mall here in Hamilton and I uh, got a few things from there as well. So anyways, <clears throat> so I have no FOs, but uh, I got some whips. So let's do that. All right. First up, let's see. First up is going to be um, my changing staircases shawl that I'm working on. I wish I had more done. I kind of hope to have it done by now. Didn't happen. It's one I take with me to work and stuff. So on the bus, because I don't I don't drive. Um, so I take the city bus and standing at the bus stop, knitting, sitting on the bus, knitting, on my lunch break, knitting. <laughs> I knit as much as I can. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my voice is just going crazy. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm drinking today 
along with my acquisitions of something from David's Tea, but I'll tell you about that later. Anyways, this is a big 17 ounce. I think it's 17 ounce. <laughs> I don't want to tip it too much. I don't want anything pouring out. Uh, let's see. 24 fluid ounce, 17, 710 milliliter. Okay, so it's a big, big sucker. And it's one of those ones you can put in the freezer and freeze. So that's good. But I have David's Tea iced in here. Mm. It's really good. It's actually a new one I haven't tried yet. Mudslide. I know. Oh my god. I'll tell you about all that with acquisitions, but I just wanted to share that I've it's it's really good. I've never drank in David's tea iced before. It's one of my new favorite things, I think. <laughs> so, anyways, let's get on with this uh wet, shall we? Now Doing the Changing Staircases shawl. I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a blast knitting it. But I messed up somewhere. And I couldn't figure out what I did. I couldn't figure it out. So. I ripped it all out and started over. I know. Okay, focus back again. There we go. I was so mad. I was so mad. Because I'm. I'm thinking back and I'm I'm going back and back and I'm thinking, okay, I don't know where I messed up and it's not the count's not equaling. I don't know what's going on. And I thought, oh, do I rip it out? Do I not rip it out? I don't know what to do. I had like probably that much done of it. So I ripped it out. Ripped it all out, started all over. I would have been a lot further along if I didn't do that, obviously. But I redid it, and this is what I have so far. Caught here. Go this way. That's actually pretty close to color. I think. Yeah, that's that's about right. You know, when you get up closer, it kind of like blows it out a bit. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking about there. That's about right. So anyways, I'm really, really liking this. I'm loving the pattern. I'm loving, I, I love the yarn. The yarn is just amazing. And this is Tristan Molina Changing Staircases Shawl. Um, and her, the yarn is also hers. Her shop on Etsy is called Fingers of Fury. And this is the Under the Sea colorway. So pretty. I love the colors. I really love teals and corals and stuff like that. That's my jam. <laughs> I love the colorway. So I'm always on the lookout for others that have the same sort of coloring to it because it's really, really pretty. I love teals and corals and stuff like that. Um, as you can kind of tell my nails today, <laughs> I actually really like this color. Um, anyways, so it's Tristan Molina who is Dragon Horde Yarn on Instagram and on Ravelry. And her shop is Fingers of Fury, and you can find that on Etsy. Um, you have to get some of her yarn if you don't have some already, because it is just beautiful, beautiful yarn. So squishy, so soft. The colors are amazing, and I'm probably going to place an order for some more, because I just can't get enough. I only have one skein of her yarn so far, and that's it. And when I'm done, when <laughs> talk, when I am done knitting that shawl, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be sad because I'm not gonna have any more of Tristan's yarn. So I'm going to have to order so that I can always have at least one skein of her yarn in my stash at all times. Um, so that is the Changing Staircases shawl. She actually has a cow going on right now. Let me just make sure <laughs> it is in her group with her mom which is christy and they are girls in the yarn cafe on ravelry make sure you get into that group and you join that cow because yeah they got some pretty decent prizes coming for that you want to make sure you get in there and as well they are co-hosting it with meg from bad wolf girl sits and knits on ravelry as well and you can enter both i believe 
I think you enter Tristan's if you use her yarn. I'm not positive on that. I'll have to let you know. But uh, so there's two groups you can join if you're doing this changing staircases, Cal, and also you know got a hashtag on on uh, Instagram as well so she can see all the awesome stuff that everybody's knitting up with her um, her pattern, all the different colors that you're using. Um, what else? Okay, I think that's it for that one. Then, oh, oh, oh. yeah, bags are falling. I have my Raina shawl by Nora Lavola, Laviola, something like that. Um, also in one of my project bags. This one here is pretty. I haven't really worked much on that because I have another project that I've been working on a little bit. I'm trying to get. Oh God, yeah. There's a story and a half. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Raina shawl, and I've actually done the first set of eyelets, and I'm on the second set of uh, garter. So I made some progress, but not a lot. That's actually there. That's about the right color there. So I'll bring it up close so you can see. Wow, that's really blown out. Ooh. Focus. There we go. So, anyways, that's all I've gotten done. Not a lot. Not a lot done, but I'm loving these colors. The pastels and stuff are so pretty. There we go. That's about right. They're so pretty. So, this is one that I'm kind of sitting on. I work on it here and there. Um, I want to do more of it. And these are on my Chalgoos. Chalgoos. I can't find the number. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. These are size 4, 3.5 millimeter. Um, my Changing Staircases shawl, I believe, is also Chalgoo. And I'm using the 6. The pattern calls for the 5. But I thought I was more of a tight knitter, so I went to a six, and now I'm not so sure. <laughs> not so sure. But then when I'm knitting my next whip, I'm a tight knitter. Um, so you may remember, oh, that yarn was the Manos del Uruguay in the Pastel Tiza colorway, which is something I got from my local yarn shop. I believe it's called the Hand Knit yarn studio here in Hamilton um oh, I got some stuff to tell you about them oh my god I'm so excited anyways my next whip is socks I am working on socks last time I only had like tiny tiny bit like maybe five rows of the toe done so I'm working on them a little bit and let me tell you ouch <laughs> ouch um while I was at my local yarn shop on Friday, I picked up a new set of needles for my socks because the ones I was using must have only been like 16 inch and it was so tight trying to do magic loop because you didn't really have a lot of cable. So it was very tight and I was getting really frustrated with them. So I decided while I was down there to buy a new pair of needles. Oh, pardon me. So these are 1.5 on 32 inch cord cable thing, which I got tangled up in yarn, whatever. Anyways, so these are my socks. That's pretty, pretty decent representation. The blue is not so bright, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So I've got the toe and I've started working on the foot. I'm doing toe up because I was really paranoid. I was really, really paranoid about um, maybe a little toe or a hat. 
<laughs> um, yeah, so I can just squish this down. Okay. I had to buy these at uh, my, my little yarn shop as well because I didn't have anything. And I was so paranoid that I would pull and the socks would come off. I'd be so mad. Oh, I'd be so mad. Well, because I kind of ripped them out and started them over on Friday. <laughs> so I guess that's not too bad. When like a day and a half, like a day's work. It's not bad, I guess. Um, but my fingers are not happy. This finger in particular, because I'm a pusher. So I knit, knit, knit push down, knit, push, knit, push, you know, and, um, all of the side here. So I don't push right on the top. I push kind of on the side and it is hard. I'm getting a callus on that. But yesterday, oh my God, I was waiting for it to break skin because I mean, they're sharp, but they're not like extremely sharp. They're sharper than what I'm used to. I don't know how anybody can knit with high highs if they're sharper than these because I would have like a hole right through my finger like all the way through <laughs> if I use those oh my god there was one time I was knitting and I'm like oh my gosh that hurts so much but I can't stop I want to knit these socks I'm not stopping so I'm just gonna grin and bear the pain and I'm gonna knit through it yeah it was, it was something else. Anyway, so I wanted to do toe up because I don't have my sock recipe. I don't know what is a good number for me. Um, these I'm actually making for my daughter. So she tried them on and they fit so far. For me, I'm going to try them on as well. My feet are a little wider than hers by like half an inch. So once I get a little bit more done maybe down to like here or so, I think I'm going to try them on myself and see if they're too tight or if they're just okay. She says she doesn't care if the hers are a little bit loose. Where me, I like my socks a little bit snug. So I probably want a little bit of negative ease just so they fit better on me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited with the progress I've got so far, considering this is my first time knitting socks. I think the stitches and everything are coming out pretty decent. So, it looks like I have a pretty, um, pretty even tension throughout all of it. I mean, I'm pulling, pulling quite a bit um, with the first two stitches because I don't want laddering because laddering really pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> it really pisses me out. So I think I'm doing pretty good at this. Um, the pat, yeah, cause see, look at that. Um, let's see. We'll go this side. I mean, I'm not seeing any laddering whatsoever up the side of that. So I think I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, this is an actual YouTube tutorial video that I'm using and it's just a plain vanilla sock, all stockinette, all the way until the, um, the cuff, which I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to go all the way up. I think I'm going to do some shorties. I never wear socks that are all the way up. Every sock, even in the winter, all my socks are shorties. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I don't wear. I think maybe it's because my calves are a little bit thick. So I can't usually find socks that I like that fit nicely over my calves. Um, so I usually wear shorties. Um, yeah, so that's what I usually do. So most of mine are going to be shorties. My daughter, she likes hers a little bit longer. But she said for this pair, she's fine with shorties. Cause she just wants them. She wants them like now. I'm like, I'm sorry, baby. I am not that fast of a knitter. <laughs> it's going to take a little while. So, um, yeah. So these are my socks. I'm excited. I'm going to post um, this on Ravelry or on Instagram, I should say, just to show that I've got a pair of socks <laughs> starting. I'm so excited. Um, this is... Um, this is a Regia. 
yarn, an arabesque colorway. That's actually pretty, that's pretty accurate, I think, with those colors. So I'm just getting, as you can see, I'm just getting to the pink part of the colorway. So I'm not sure how many repeats there are. I'm not sure how many different shades. It's like a navy, um, like a pale purple, like a purple, blue. That looks like maybe black, the blue, the green, the gray, and then the pink. So I'm not sure if it's just the five or not. I don't recall if this thing said at all. But they're very different. If you look at the picture, it's not all the same thickness. There's the picture there. So it's not all the same thickness. So we'll see how it looks. We'll see how it uh, it ends up. I'm not sure. It doesn't say how many repeats or how many different colors. But it'll be fun. It'll be fun to see all dine up, and I can't wait. So I'm going to work on some of this tonight as well. Probably, uh, what I tend to do when I have more than one thing on the needles that I really want to knit is I'll knit one for like two hours, and then I'll switch and I'll knit the next one for a couple hours, and then I'll switch and knit the next one for a couple hours. That might be the plan for tonight while we watch some movies. We'll see. We'll see. So that's it for my whips. Um... Last time, I didn't leave a link for the sock tutorial. I will this time, just in case anybody else is a first-time sock knitter. Then we can learn together. Um, it is Blooming Knitter on YouTube. It's called Toe Up Socks. But I will leave a link in the show notes, which will be on my Ravelry page, um, in my Ravelry group, after the episode oh, is... Um, God, I can't even talk today. Once the episode is loaded and I can do the show notes... It'll be on there. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> what can we do next? I think we'll go right on to Happy Mail because I can't wait. I got stuff to show you. Yes. <gasps> I'm so excited on this next thing. Okay, so I joined a swapless swap is what they're called. And this one was from the Naughty Knitwits, I believe, uh, Michelle and Leslie. They had one. It was Yarn Cafe Creations 40 Yard Swap. It came in. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> these are so freaking adorable, these colors. If you haven't seen them yet, oh my gosh. Um, they don't have any names. I don't know if they're going to be something that she's going to repeat and put out later and name them. I have no idea. But it is Yarn Cafe Creations, which is Christy, part of the Girls in the Yarn Cafe podcast, which if you haven't watched, you need to watch. These ladies are awesome. I can't say enough good things about them. Um, she Her Etsy shop is Yarn Cafe Creations um, dot pattern pattern by etsy.com and uh, her name is Christy and she did 10 different colorways so you basically got 40 yards per mini which is about 10 yards each and it was hosted by like I said Naughty Knitwits as well as um, a lady named Lisa Woodruff who does a lot of these swapless swaps so if you want to be a part of a swapless swap it's it's pretty awesome because you don't have to swap yarn you just pay for the amount that they ask for and you just get your minis when it's due which is pretty awesome so um, she is life full of laugh on Ravelry so you can look her up there um, I meant to take the side of the bag and I kind of forgot so pardon the crinkling for a second while I I'm going to try to just quietly as I can Okay, so that's that. All right. So this is it says here, Naughty Knitwits and Sack Yarn Swappers, I guess, is um, Lisa's group. Um, ten unnamed colorways. So there's no names for these yet. Oh, but oh my gosh. 
Um, oh, she has um, an Etsy shop called SockYarnSwappers.Etsy.com, and that's where you can get, um, I haven't checked that out. Maybe I'll have to check that out. You can probably get uh, some of these swaps and stuff through Etsy as well as on Ravelry. So these are so pretty. Oh my God. I have no idea what I'm going to, no idea what I'm going to knit with these. I don't know because I don't know if I want them as heels, toes and cuffs, or maybe I'm kind of thinking I, I want to write my own shawl pattern. I've been aching. I'm one of these people that I try something and I'm like, oh, I want to do that. Okay. So, um, do a podcast. Oh, I want to do that. Okay. Podcast done. I wanted to open my own Ravelry group, which I did that before I started my podcast. So that's good. Um, I wanted to sew project bags. Good. Done doing that. My next one was dyeing yarn, which I am on the verge of ordering some yarn, some yarn and some dye. And I was so excited. I cannot wait. I have got a list. I've got a little book and I've got a list of colorways that I want to do, like names of colorways and what um, types of things I want to use as color inspiration. Um, I'll show you a picture on my phone. Should I show on my phone or should I post it? I'll just show on my phone for now. Once I do the colorway, I'll post the uh, the inspiration photo. But anyway, this is a cherry blossom tree that's outside my house. And it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm thinking I want this to be my first colorway. Let's see if this shows up at all. There we go. Kind of. It's a little blown out. But, uh, yeah, it's so pretty. Little cherry blossom tree outside my house. So I want my first colorway to possibly be that, which would be a couple different shades of pinks, maybe a couple shades of green, a little bit of brown. I think it would be so pretty, and I cannot wait to dye that up. So I want to um, do that soon. And, Oh, I am really warm. I don't have a hot flash, <laughs> which I've been getting lately. Oh, my Lanta. They are, oh, I cannot wish this on. <laughs> I'm hot. Oh, my gosh. I'm just like sweating all of a sudden. I'm like, whew. I don't know if it's a hot flash or if it's just warm because of the light, the lamp. It's one of those stand-up lamps. Yeah, I'm using my Red Heart. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I had to find something that wasn't going to make too much noise so I can fan myself. I would turn my air on on my fan, but then that'd probably be a lot too much noise, and I probably wouldn't like that very much, so. Whew. Okay, anyways, I'll take a sip of my cold drink. That might help a bit, because, man, I'm starting to sweat. Mm, that's good because I did turn on my air conditioning just before I started podcasting thinking it'll have my room cool down enough that I'd get through the podcast even though it's only 11 degrees outside it's a little warm up here I think it's the lighting it's got to be the lighting so anyways I kind of think like I said I wanted to start knitting or dyeing yarn which I'm hoping to do sometime this summer because I have a Halloween colorway I already want to work on that has about six different colors, schemes, six different things in it, which is going to be so exciting and I cannot wait to do it. So I have to get dyeing before, uh, before then, before September, so I can actually sell the Halloween colorways. And I have a Christmas colorway series that I have planned. I've got, oh my God, I've got so many things planned. I can't even, I don't know when I'm going to have time to do all this stuff. I may just have to quit my job. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, I would love to quit my job and dye yarn and knit and sew all day, every day. Oh my God, that would be a dream. Dream, yep, life goals. Yep, that's it, life goals. That's what I'm going to be doing. Anyways, um, let's get on. I'll show you some of these. They're so pretty. I won't take too long on these because it's already 
already been 40 minutes and I'm just babbling on. All right. And it's actually coming up pretty true. Not quite as bright, but um, this one is so pretty. These are gorgeous. I can't even, I mean, I want full skeins of these because they're just so beautiful. So whatever, um, what I was saying is I want to try all kinds of things. Well, I want to knit or make my own shawl pattern is what I want to do. And I'm like, I love these. I don't know where I would use little tiny minis like this besides socks but for me I mean I don't go anywhere where people would see my socks and these yarns are too pretty to hide away in a pair of socks so I'm thinking I want to make a shawl with the minis that one's blowing out a little bit it's not so peachy it's a little bit darker Yeah, maybe they are. You can see those, okay. Oh, this one matches my nails. <laughs> Number nine. Oh, these are so pretty. So pretty. Like, ridiculous. I want, like, a full skein of every single one of these. <laughs> Seriously. I'm going to have to buy some stuff from her shop because she does have beautiful colorways. I think this one here and... This one here, I think, are my two favorites. They're so pretty. I'm put them all in here. <laughs> and there we go. Voila! They are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love all of them. They are so pretty. <laughs> so that is Yarn Cafe Creations. You need to check out her shop. They're absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colorways. Um, like I said, I think I might have to buy something from Christy next. I bought from Tristan. I haven't bought from Christy yet, but I have received a few times from Christy. This is the first um, big package I've got from her. When I first started knitting and joining Ravelry groups and stuff like that, I actually joined, or when I first started watching podcasts, um, I think theirs was one of the first ones I watched, and I joined, I believe it was their first giveaway, and I won. Oh my God, I was so ecstatic. Oh, you couldn't even, you couldn't even calm me down. I was so happy when they were talking on their podcast and they said my name. I was like, oh my God, no way. So I rewind, listen to it again. Oh my God, no way. Rewound, like, they said my name. I was so excited. My daughter comes running in and she's like, what's going on? I'm like, I won, I won, I won, I won something. Oh my God. I was so excited. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was so good though. So I have to order because she sent um, a mini, I think it was one of her mini Christmas sets and of um, minis as well. So I don't have a lot of minis, but I kind of think I might buy some because I want to do a mini shawl. So I want to do a shawl, all minis. So it's going to be kind of like a scrappy shawl, but it's going to be all minis. I think I want to do that. I think that. I'm not sure if that's going to be my first pattern. I kind of want to make it my first pattern because I want to knit on those yarns. I really, really do. Okay. So that came in the mail. That was the only mail acquisition. I'll show you my other knitting related. And then I got a couple, oh, oh, almost fell over, a couple non-knitting related acquisitions as well. I ordered this book because, well, I'm knitting socks. I don't really know a lot about knitting socks. So this is by Ann Bud. It is called Getting Started Knitting Socks. So 
I bought this book and it came in the other day. And it's got a lot of information. There's a lot of information in here and I'm not sure. I might knit a few of the patterns that are in here. Once I get to understanding the writing of a pattern when it comes to socks. Um, but yeah, there's some really nice ones in here and it's, it tells you all about how to choose your fiber content, how to choose your needles, um, a couple different ways to cast on, a couple different ways to bind off, um, how to do increases, decreases, how to measure your foot size, um, stuff like that. So adding your own color or texture pattern to a sock, stuff like that. And then she's got a whole bunch of uh, sock patterns in the back as well. So I might knit up a couple of those because some of them are so fun. Some of them are really, really fun. So I think I might have to uh, do some of that. And then she also has some different patterns like stitch patterns, cables, and stuff like that as well some ribbed socks, sock patterns, um, a right twist cable rib, which is kind of cool looking. I'm not sure if you can see it. So yeah, there's, there's quite a few that I want to, I want to try on here. And I thought it's always good to have a reference book handy just because <laughs> I'm looking for more. Mm, that's another, are you kidding me right now? I think my furnace just turned on. <laughs> I'm like, you know that smell that you get when your furnace just turns on for the first time of the season? I'm smelling that right now. It's not a good smell. <laughs> it's not a good smell. I think I may have to do a little uh, adjusting here and do a little spray because I just can't take it. I'd rather smell this. It's a uh, Febreze Hawaiian, Hawaiian Aloha. And it's nice. nice. And I just knocked it over. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm always on the lookout for new um, knitting books. So I think what I might do, I was thinking about this last night while I was laying in bed because I can't just go to sleep. My head's always going. Um, I want to open up a page in my Ravelry group about books, knitting books, knitting books or knitting magazines, things like that. Ones that you like, ones you think other people would be interested in because I'm all about buying books. <laughs> I love books. I used to read like ridiculously, but now that I'm knitting, I don't have time to read anymore. I may have to get them on like audiobooks. But I'm usually listening to podcasts or watching movies when I read, so I don't know when that's going to happen. <laughs> so that was that. Um, oh, I forgot. When I was at my knitting shop, my little knitting shop downtown, I got a new pair of needles, like I told you. I also got the uh, point protector. They are the Clover, the Clover point protectors. So I got the small ones because most of the needles that I have right now are small and these are for a zeros to size sevens so up to a 4.5 and I have a 1.5 um, a three and a seven I think I don't know I don't have a lot of needles I need to get some of those too <laughs> more things to buy yay anyways so I had to buy some yarn I can't go to a yarn shop and not buy something that's actual yarn. Um, I've been wanting to get a tonal because I don't have any tonals. As you can see right there, there's my yarn stash right now. I mean, I've got the lace weight tonal. I think it's the only tonal I have right now is the lace weight one. The rest of them are all variegated and stuff like that. <clears throat> so... I went to my tried, trust, tested in um, Manos de Uruguay, which I think I have 
like four over there plus the one shawl I'm working on is them as well so I got this pretty pretty gray what was that on you really pretty gray so I wanted to get something that I can match with something and gray is always a good one that you can match with pretty much anything this is their Fino um, silver tea set is the name of the yarn 70% merino 30% silk this is so soft I can't even get over it and um, the girl at the store said that once it's knit up you can really tell the silk because there's a little bit of a shimmer type shine kind of thing to it so I can't wait to see this knit up because I think it is going to be absolutely gorgeous I just haven't decided what I want to pair with it so I have two options I'm thinking might work um, in a two color shawl I'm thinking possibly pure joy because <clears throat> I haven't knit any um, Hokey Locatelli shawls or anything yet and I really want to I really really want to so I'm kind of thinking pure joy might be nice but I haven't decided I'm thinking between these two okay this is another Manos de Uruguay it's their Alg Algier Allegra sorry Allegra which is superwash and nylon but what do you think of those two together? What do you think? Would that be a pretty shawl? Or pair it with Sweet Georgia, the tough luff sock. Even though, I mean, it doesn't mean you have to use it for a sock if it's a tough luff sock, but you don't have to use it for a sock you can use it for a shawl <laughs> um, so I think this kind of looks nice together too I'm thinking that kind of almost goes with some of the darker I don't know so what do you guys think oh there's a hair hanging from it what do you think? Which one do you think would look? For a two to two color shawl, which which two colors, which two yarns would go best together? I can't I can't decide. I really can't decide. So, I want your help. Let me know what you think. Is it Sweet Georgia? with gray or oh no this is this is oh my god this is manos de uruguay with the gray or sweet georgia with the gray oh my god i did it again see what is going on oh my gosh <sighs> it's yarn I'm just I just can't help it it's so squishy I'm getting distracted by the squishiness or sweet Georgia with the gray I'm looking at it and I'm like that's not gray <laughs> oh my lord oh yeah I am shedding all over my yarn so sweet Georgia with gray or the other man knows to your gray with gray so this corally green browns or the pinks purples and browns let me know what you think i'd appreciate all the feedback i can get because i really want to do a two skein shawl and i'm thinking pure joy would be really pretty using the colored one as the main stripes and then using the gray as the little accent so I'm thinking I'm thinking that might be what I want to do I don't want to cast it just on yet cast it on just yet <laughs> God. oh my goodness um, because I want to try and get these other shawls done first 
for sure. But that is, um, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, let's see. When we went to Lime Ridge, well, first off, my daughter decided to give me her queen pop because over there, you can see them right there. Mad Hatter and Alice. I'm like, you have the queen. I've got the collection. I need the queen. So she made me a deal. She says, I'll give you my queen if you buy me a new one. So I bought her a new one and I got the queen. Then when we were downtown, we went into Cheapies, which is the record shop. And I had to buy them. I'm looking for a Jack Sparrow. And I didn't care which one it was, whether it was the one with the hat or just with the bandana. It didn't matter to me. I just need Jack Sparrow because it's Johnny Depp. Uh, rar, let me tell you. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm looking at you. So cute. His little knife. His sword. And little braid in the back. <laughs> so cute. Rings on his fingers. and Oh, so cute. And I want a Halloween... Well, not really a Halloween collection, but I want all the horror villains that I can find as a pop. I want Jason, Freddy, and Michael for sure. And then my daughter saw this and she's like, oh, Mom, you got to get them. Chucky. <laughs> Look at him. He's kind of cute and like creepy at the same time. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> the little knife, the striped shirt. Adorable. Adorable. So I've asked a few places and they said um, they have had Freddy and Jason in them, but usually just around like Halloween. So I'm definitely going to be looking for that unless I decide to go on Amazon because I've seen them on Amazon. So I may just have to go on Amazon and get them because I don't know if I can hold off until Halloween. <laughs> I don't know if I can hold off until Halloween. That'd be crazy. And then we went and I'll try and show these real quick because I just realized we're almost at the hour mark already. This goes by way too freaking fast. And people wonder how podcasts are like an hour and a half, two hours long. And I'm only talking by myself. I have no partner in crime. So, yeah. <laughs> they, I just talk too much. That's my problem. I always have. Always will. Can't help it. It's just the way I am. Um, went to the Disney store and had to get a little bit collection for my little guys right up there. So, they were on 40% off. I had to grab a couple. Spider-Man. This is my favorite out of the characters of Winnie the Pooh. Eeyore. He's so cute. Look at that face. And then I saw this one. Oh my god. These ears. I can't take it. It's Dumbo. He's so cute. Oh my god. He's so cute. He's so cute in that little nose. He's got the little tail. So cute. Oh, yeah. Eeyore's tail has the bow on it and everything. It's adorable. So I bought those. Had no plans on buying anymore. And then I went into um, one of my daughter's favorite stores called Hot Topic. And then I saw more. I saw more. I saw this one. I'm like, oh, my God. I have to get her. This is one of my favorite Disney movies that are not princess related. 101 Dalmatians. I had a Dalmatian many years ago. Love Dalmatians. They're so cute. And I saw this and I had to get her right away. Cruella de Vil. <laughs> Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. 
She doesn't kill you. Yeah, I just, I can't even. So I had to get her. And then I found Ursula. <laughs> Ursula. So this ended up being a villain collection. Because I also got the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Look at her face with the hearts on it. <laughs> it killed me. They're so cute. So I'm going to put them up on my collection. So yeah, I wanted just going to buy only three. I ended up with six. I couldn't help it. I had to buy them. I couldn't help it. I can't help myself. I I need I need I need an intervention. I need a pop intervention because <laughs> I'm starting to get a little ridiculous. No, I need more. And then went and got the David's tea, which I'm drinking. Um, which is a mudslide. It is a robust tea called mudslide because I drink the regular alcoholic mudslides. So I had to try this one. It is really good. I wasn't sure I was going to like cold tea. But then I shouldn't be surprised because half the time my tea is cold by the time I finish drinking it anyways. Especially when I'm podcasting. So I went with an iced tea today. And the reason I was going to do an iced tea, they were having some samples. And... My daughter, she doesn't like hot tea. She's like, it tastes too much like water. So they had samples of iced tea. So she tried one. She fell in love with it. She really likes it. She's like, Mom, I think I would drink this. I think I would drink this. And I'm like, really? Um, and I said, really? You would drink it? And she's like, yeah, this is really good. So we tried... Um, a tea. I'm trying to remember what this is called. Um, oh, it's me to we. It's me to we tea, fruit infusion. And we got this little tin of me to we. And this is actually okay, apple, pineapple, um, Sugarcane, citric acid, hibiscus, fig, pink peppercorns, cranberry, corn flour, stevia extract, natural, natural raspberry, cherry, and passion fruit flavors. <clears throat> so, yeah. So this here tin, when you buy this tin, proceeds ended up going to Kenya, I believe. They said with every um, purchase, money goes to Kenya, and it gives one person fresh drinking water. So I had to, I had to buy it. My daughter loves it. It's actually really smells really good. We haven't tried this as an iced tea yet, but it's so fruity. You can just see all the stuff inside of there. Look at that. It's just, I wish, I wish it was like smell-o-vision. <laughs> smell that. Um, oh, I wish there was smell-o-vision. But then again, maybe not. <laughs> I'm sure there's some sense that people have when they're doing stuff that we just don't want to smell. Uh, <laughs> so I bought this tea, and we're going to try that tonight while we watch The Craft. And I got my my mudslide. I had a cup of it last night as a cold drink or as a hot tea. Oh, so good. So yeah, I had to buy the, I had to try the iced tea during the podcast. Um, is there anything else? Okay. Nothing else for acquisitions. So this one, I have no shop talk. Um, hopefully I'll have some bags for next week, but like I said, this week just flew right by. I wanted to do some bags for tonight for an update, but it's not going to happen. So tomorrow, um, tonight, tomorrow, I'm going to be cutting up some fabric and selling some of those. And because of the long weekend, I also have another day off during the week. So hopefully I can sew up the bags then and get them out on the next shop update before my next podcast. That's the plan. So 
no real shop talk. So chit chat. A little chit chat. Um, not too much going on besides, like I said, the weather has just been, it was nice and then it got cold and we were expecting this really massive storm to come through. The winds were ridiculous, but we didn't get the thunder showers that they were calling for, but it did cool down everything. And now, like I said, it's like 11 degrees. Inside. So yeah, that was just fun. And another thing with the chit chat was me trying to make my pattern. That's what I wanted to talk about, but I talked about that earlier. Watching some of these season finales. Oh my God. I, I just, I can't wait. I can't wait for these shows to come back. One of the ones that had me on the edge of my seat, bawling like a baby, don't know what to do, can't handle it. Oh my God, what's going to happen? These people can't, this can't happen. This cannot happen. If you haven't seen it yet, I don't want to do a spoiler, but Chicago Fire. Oh my God. Seriously. What the hell? I don't even, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I can't wait until September when that comes back on to find out what happened. Did people die? Did they get rescued? Did they, there's not just one person's life at risk. There's a few and oh my God, I cannot take it. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't wait. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. So that's the one that had me on the edge of my seat going, oh my God, they cannot end it like this. Oh my God, they cannot end it. Oh my God, are they going to end it like this? They can't end it like this. Cause they do. So sad. So sad. Me and my mom, my daughter, we're all sitting watching it. All three of us are like bawling. <laughs> we're kind of pathetic, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm a very emotional person. Let me tell you. I'm very emotional. <laughs> I cry. TV shows, movies, commercials. If it's, I cry. <laughs> I cry a lot. It's just, you know, sometimes you just got to get it out of your system. But uh, yeah, all of those Chicago shows were really good for their finales. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. They're just so good. Um, I was going to say something else, but I can't remember what it was. See, and I have my show notes. Look, my show notes are all written down in my trusty little book. I love this thing. It's so cute. So, <clears throat> what's coming up? Um, well, things I want to cast on. I meant to mention this earlier, but I kind of forgot. Well, I kind of, I kind of mentioned it. I want to try the pure joy. That's, that's the next thing I want to cast on. I think is the pure joy. I wanted to do some other ones, but I don't really have yarn that would go well together <clears throat> to do a four or five skein project. So I'm trying two skein. I'm looking for a two skein project. So, or even a one skein, if you know any, if you know any really nice one skein shawls, um, let me know. Definitely let me know. You can go into the one skein, um, Cal, um, chatter thread and put some hints to different patterns that you think would be really nice. Um, as well, like I said, let me know which one you think goes well with the gray. Um, I was kind of thinking... I was kind of thinking this um, Sally Skeins one, but I think it's too too springy. I don't I don't know. I don't know if I want to put it with gray. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that one would go good with gray? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So there's another one I thought would go good with gray, but that's the sh the yarn my daughter wants me to make her something out of. So I'm not doing too skein shawl on her. Um, but yeah, that's about it for today, I guess. I could babble and talk on and on and on forever about everything and anything and nothing at all. 
<laughs> I'm sure you guys are tired of me already. So, um, just get in in my Ravelry group for those cows. I want to give some stuff away. And um, follow me on Instagram because I will be doing that 400 follower giveaway very soon. Hopefully this week um, if I can stay at that 400 mark for a few days. We'll do that. Um, nice to get in my Ravelry group. Join those cows. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. And what else? What else? I don't know. I guess that's it. I guess that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. So that's all I have on my thing that I wrote. So. <laughs> I'm so cheesy. Oh, Lord. Um, yeah, that's about it for today. So I hope you guys all had a great week. Hope you have a great week to come. And I'm not sure my next... My next podcast may be on a Friday night because I have to work Saturday and Sunday and I've been taping my podcasts on Sundays. So I have a full like eight and a half hour shift. I'm not sure if I want to work till 630 and then come home and podcast. So it might tape Friday when I get home from work. Possibly. Friday or Monday, one of the others. But uh, definitely, if you like my podcast, you stayed through the whole thing, you're having a good time, you're enjoying what I talk about, definitely subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. I have 21 subscribers right now, and I'm so excited about that. I can't believe 21 people actually want to watch this over and over, and I think I just gave myself a paper cut. Um, <laughs> um, 21 people subscribe to my podcast. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Once I hit 100, if I hit 100, I'll be doing a giveaway for sure. Um, who knows? By that time, I might be dying my own yarn. So you never know. You never know. So until next time, make sure you uh, follow me, like my page, join my Ravelry group, all that kind of stuff. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I'm all in for um, doing collaborations or um, co-hosting cows and stuff like that so if you're interested in doing something that with me then just uh message me i'm mostly active on instagram and ravelry um so you can message me on either of those two places and we will get together and chit chat and talk and see what can see what we can do because i'd be so excited to do a collaboration or um a knit along co-host and knit along with somebody i think that'd be a lot of fun so that's it for that i hope you all have a great week and until next time, keep on crafting. Bye. Bye.